In this video, I'm going to introduce the term the explained sum of squares. So E stands for explained. And this term is defined as the sum from 1 to n of beta naught hat. So your estimation for beta naught plus beta 1 hat, your estimate for beta 1 times xi minus the sample mean of y squared. And then I can express this term over here, beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat xi as yi hat. This is a notation I used in the previous video. And then using this notation, I can represent the explained sum of squares as yi hat minus the sample mean of y, and then squared. So now I'm going to provide a geometrical interpretation of this term. So the geometrical interpretation starts off with the xy plane. And then on this xy plane, I can plot all of the data points just like we did in the past two videos. And then once we get all these data points, I can take the y coordinates of all of these individual points. I can take these the y coordinates and then I can calculate the sample mean of y. So I can calculate the sample mean of y. And then I can mark its value on the y axis. And then I can draw this horizontal line that represents the value of the sample mean of y. And then also I can use our formulas to calculate the estimates of beta naught and beta 1 so we can now construct our regression line that's equal to beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat times x so this would be a straight line that runs through the data like this and it will have a y-intercept of beta naught hat and it will have a slope of beta 1 hat and so now if you take a look at this term over here what, what exactly does this term represent so for every single term what we're doing is that we're taking an individual point, let's say we're taking this point over here, so let's say this point has coordinate xi, yi. We drop this uh, vertical line onto our regression line. So we mark down this point over here. This is a point that lies on the regression line that has the same x coordinate, so this will have a coordinate of xi, yi hat, so it's yi hat because it's on the line. And then yi hat minus the sample mean of y, that just represents the distance between this point and the point that you get when you drop a vertical onto this horizontal line given by the sample mean of y. So it's basically this distance over here and then you square it and then you do the same for all of the other points. So you take this other point, you find a corresponding point on the regression line and then you find the distance between this point and the horizontal line and you do the same for every single point. So you're, you're looking for these distances between the regression line and this horizontal line and then you take all of these distances and then you square them and then you add them up and then what you get in the end will be the explained sum of squares so this is what the explained sum of squares is it's the sum of all of these distances squared so the explained sum of squares is useful because it quantifies the amount by which the values on this regression line deviates from the sample mean of y so you can compare the structure of this term with the structure of the total sum of squares, which I defined in a previous video. So if you write out the definition, you'll see that the structures are extremely similar. So for the total sum of squares, you have yi minus the sample mean of y. And you can see that for the explained sum of squares, the only difference is that instead of a y, you have yi hat. So this represents the deviation between the y coordinates of the individual data and the sample mean of y. Meanwhile, for the explained sum of squares, this represents the deviation between the values on the regression line and the sample mean of y. So if your data, if your regression line fits the data very well, you would expect your explained sum of squares to be very similar to your total sum of squares. So you can kind of view this term as a measurement of how well the regression line captures the deviation of the y terms. So that's why it's called the explained sum of squares. It captures how much of the variation of the y terms uh, can be explained by, by the regression line. So this is the significance of the explained sum of squares. And uh, before I end this, I just want to show you one more thing. I just want to show you an alternative way to express the explained sum of squares. So starting off with the definition, so I'm going to express this term in a slightly different way that's going to be useful for later derivations. So I'm going to express beta naught by its definition, which is this. So you can see that this term inside the bracket becomes the sample mean of y minus beta 1 hat, the sample mean of x plus beta 1 hat xi 
minus the sample meter phi squared. And you can see that these two terms, they cancel out. So in the end, we have, first of all, both of these terms have a beta 1 hat. So I can pull this term outside of the bracket. We have beta 1 hat squared. And then inside the bracket, I have xi minus the sample mean of x squared. And then you can see that this term here is independent of the index i. So I can just pull this outside of the summation sign. So in the end, you get something like this. So this is what I want to show you. This is a, an alternative way to express the explained sum of squares.